Okay, so the first top tip for the laser is about the clue of the sail and actually where to tie the bungee onto. So quite often people tie the bungee onto the Velcro strap, um, which is fine, it does help the sail move. However, with it tied onto the Velcro strap, Velcro doesn't like to be pulled sideways and that can cause some extra friction uh, more than needed. So instead, what we try to do is go through the eyelet on the sail and then tie back onto itself underneath. So not only do we not have the friction from the strap, but the sail shape is the same on either tack because the clue is pulled down from either side. So the next top tip is with regards to the hiking strap. Obviously we've got a couple of different settings for the hiking strap. You need it set for your upwind setting. Um, what we've done here though is made an adjustment on it so we can adjust the hiking strap as we go. Okay, so we tie a bowline onto the D-ring and then with the line go through the hiking strap through the opposite D-ring and then pull through the first one. When we go back through the first D-ring, we go between the bowline and the ring itself. That means when you pull it, it holds tight. The third tip is um, about the hiking strap again and the adjustment. As you can see with the line, we've gone through the D-ring and through the bowline. However, when you pull this on, it can still come a little bit looser. So when you're going downwind, the next tip is if you're finding this problem with the line that you've used, is to use a little bit of wet and dry or sandpaper and just to put a little bit of extra grip on the line and then when you pull it tight, it should hold quite nicely. Working our way up the boat now, we've got towards where the daggerboard goes in. Um, where the daggerboard slots in, we've actually got something called a friction pad. These friction pads because, uh, wear away quite easily because of the trailing edge of the centreboard. Uh, therefore the, 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 the centreboard can actually move around a little bit and that's less efficient under the boat. So the next tip would be before any major event to replace your friction pad. They don't cost very much but they do make quite a big difference. So the last point is with regards to how we actually rig the boat up and where we put things. So we've got our downhaul and our outhaul. Now we've rigged the downhaul going down the starboard side of the boat and that's because it's more important in terms of sail shape than your outhaul and when you reach the starboard ley line on starboard tack you can actually get to your Cunningham first. 